Um, I just finished a really long live actually with everybody. Pretty fun. I'm now waiting to go and get some things to style these with and maybe have some tacos. The wind is killing me though. These girls are freezing. I mean, like a little mini scary girls. to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Yeezy 350 V2s in the light UV colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. to another unboxing and review for you the channel welcome be sure to hit that subscribe right now give this video a thumbs up if the at the end if you enjoyed it feel free to leave me any comments or questions down below hit that notification box we do have a ton of heat that i don't want you to miss out on also be sure to check out that join button we've got some amazing membership perks on there as well as an amazing shade merch store so be sure to head on over to that website after this video is over all right so as mentioned earlier we're going to be discussing today the 350 yeezy v2s in the light uv colorway so we're going to start off by going through the overview followed by size and fit then we're going to talk about how much fun i had styling these and then conclude with how these are doing on the resale market so let's jump right into it starting with the overview so again these are affected by light which is pretty crazy uv effects going on so for those of you who didn't tune into my live earlier today be sure to check that out because i was out in the light it's a bit cloudy today unfortunately in new york uh, but i did see some really cool changes happening with the prime net material on this sneaker so let's start start off with the colorway that it is now and then I'll kind of give my input on what I saw happening in the daytime when I was outside. Again, the changes may be way different on a sunnier day. Uh, so I will try and get some images up on the community board as soon as we get some more sun back in here, back here in New York. Uh, but right now it's this really just nice, simple kind of cream colorway, which I actually prefer over the color change that happens when I'm in the light. I kind of just guess I need to walk in the dark with these. Uh, but the prime knit is mainly just this nice, simple kind of cream off-white colorway. You will see on the Prime Mint, there is this kind of 3M reflective going on, which is hitting the lights right now. These lights are actually not changing the color scheme as they did when it was outside. When I was outside, I did notice on kind of the side profiles of the sneaker that the stripes actually on the side of the inner portion here turned to a bright kind of pink color scheme. And on the front of the toe box, I noticed that the color kind of changed to a more purpley hue. I didn't really see much purple on either side profiles of the sneaker, but I did see them kind of pop up on the toe box region here. On the stripe and images that I saw, there was kind of a pop of orange hues that appeared when they were in the sunlight. Uh, for me personally, there was some changing going on. There was definitely like a three color change variation, but it was more kind of salmon pink in tone. I didn't think it got to that orange phase, but really cool again, that this stripe will change colors. Again, this is just kind of a cream clear effect that it's giving right now since we are not in the sunlight. Uh, moving to the laces, we do have just some nice simple kind of cream laces that I think match the prime net quite nicely. We have a pull tab with this silhouette as well and this kind of nice light peach tone. Working our way to the insole portion, we've got a nice pop of pink for the Adidas Yeezy and a nice cream insole. Then we've got the three stripes on the back here in that peach color tone. Then the shoe is finished off with just a nice midsole that has the boost. 
you can see down the bottom there in that translucent color theme, color scheme. So let's take a look at those details and then we'll move on to size and fit. All right, so now let's talk about size and fit. So for the 350 V2 silhouette, I always do recommend to go half a size up on these. I do feel like my feet do get pushed up into the prime knit region in the toe box, which is very shallow and very narrow. So for me personally, I do like to wear my shoes with a little bit of extra space in the toe box region. I don't like them feeling crammed up there. Uh, so I do recommend going half a size up if you have narrow high arch feet like myself and you also like to wear your shoes on a little bit larger size where you like some extra room up in the toe space region. Region. If you do have wide flatter feet, I will say that this could decipher a different size for you. Uh, but my overall consensus on this one is to stick, uh, not stick true to size, but to go up half a size. All right. So now let's move into styling. I had so much fun styling these. I definitely wanted to play off of the effects of what the color scheme was on these outdoors as well as kind of intermixing that cream color scheme into the look. So for the first look, I decided to really bring out some nice colorful patterns in this dress that I wore that was a knit dress. It had some nice kind of triangle patterns throughout with some reds and some hues of light pinks, which I think really popped nicely when the light kind of hit on the pink accents of the prime knit. For the second look, I decided again to wear some nice pastel colors, this time in pants. So the denim that I wore had some nice kind of pastel colorways, and I think that the lighter pinks and creams that were kind of spread throughout that denim really played nicely with this shoe, and I paired that with a nice, simple, light pastel yellow t-shirt. final look I decided to wear a nice kind of plaid set so I wore some plaid dress pants that matched with a nice plaid uh, blazer to top off with a simple cream tank underneath and I think that the plaid color scheme matched the prime knit when it's lit up in the light perfectly it had some purple hues in there but some nice light pastel pinks which I think played quite nicely with the accents of the prime knit in the light.
got my favorite spot for the guacamole. Um, the guacamole is phenomenal here. I've never seen them actually put vegetables in it before. Pretty good. But at the same time, I'm like, yo, where's my chips? I don't want to eat my guac with vegetables. I want chips. So pretty, pretty good. All right, so you let me know down below was your favorite look out of the three, or how would you style these? these went on the re or how these are going on the resale market so these were definitely more limited than the lightnings that uh we just posted so definitely go back check out that video if you haven't already but these retail the 220 dollars and currently are going between 275 to 320 and these actually remind me of my naturals so again if you haven't seen that video be sure to head back over check out that one as well but similar kind of colorway except that of course these you change when you do step outside and you're in that sun light. All right. So that's it for this unboxing and review. Thanks again. If you're new here today, be sure to hit that subscribe. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. It does mean the world to the channel. Be sure to leave me any comments or questions down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat that I don't want you to miss out on. Be sure to check out that join button also because we've got some amazing membership perks on there and an amazing merch jar. All right. That's it for this episode. My name is Marissa Hill. This is Shay TV. We will catch you on the next video.